First of all, uh, how did you get started in uh, cowboy protection? Uh, it's just been something that's kind of been a dream of mine since I was little. I've always grown up to going to rodeos with my sisters and uh, just kind of always watch the bulls and kind of have my eye on the bullfighters. And then when I was 16, so six years ago, I kind of went to a couple schools and got my start in it and just was hooked from there. So what's your most serious injury so far? Uh, it's probably in 2015. Uh, I dislocated my hip, uh, broke four transverse processes in my back and bruised a lung. Now, when the bull's in the chute, do you know roughly to the right, to the left, uh, what it's going to do? Uh, not really here because there's so many different contractors bringing bulls that you really don't have a time to uh, see all of them. But like the other pro rodeos, I work for like Donovan Larson. I've seen those bulls quite a bit, so I know what they're going to do. Do you do this by feel, I mean, to get be between you and the cowboy at any time, or how does that work there? Yeah, it's just kind of instincts take over. Uh, you kind of can, uh, been doing it for so long, you can see where those cowboys are about to fall off, so kind of position yourself to be able to put yourself in the best position to save them. You've been at this only a few years. How, how long would you like to do this? Uh, as long as I can, really. I love it, and it's a passion of mine, so for, for as long as I can, I guess, as long as I'm loving it. And you're hearing Casper at the CNFR. There's a ton of your family here. I can hear yeah. them and know them. I mean, uh, how does it feel to, to do that here in town? Uh, it, it's actually, it feels really good. Uh, I've been coming to this rodeo with my mom on the committee for about as long as I've been born. So I've always watched these bullfighters work and seen the best in the world come here and fight bulls. It's unreal to be able to do this in my hometown. It's such a big rodeo. Do you ever think about it the other way? What would it be like to, to actually ride bulls? Uh, I've never really wanted to ride bulls. I've been on a few steers, but... I think saving them is my, my calling.